Hi guys, welcome to the fourth part. I really wish this was the final part, but after this episode or after this video, we might have a minor closing video. Anyway, welcome to the fourth part of the tutorial series. In this video, we are going to be making the actual boat. Actually, we are not making the boat, we are using a model from Sketchfab. But we'll be working on the boat and getting the fire, the exciting part of the tutorial. So let's get into it. So getting straight into the video, um, I'm going to import a model from Sketchfab. I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I'm just going to load that up quickly. So it's actually a GTIF file. I will be linking the exact model in the description so you can follow along and not get any issues as you follow me step by step because we are going to be using the fire simulation from blender and i would really recommend you copy exactly my same figures feel free to play around though but if you want the same results i achieved you that you might want to copy the exact files and figures i use so just a disclaimer or something you should keep in mind just in case you're render doesn't look exactly like mine maybe you know what to do but i really and strongly advise you use the exact same files i use the exact same models and figures i use for this particular video especially this particular one so i'm going to go into tutorial sets and i have the boots right here it says in gtif if you downloaded the model from sketchfab you would see the exact same thing so you don't need to worry and we are just going to import it and right after importing the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to press m on my keyboard sorry i just realized my screencast keys are off so let me just turn that on quickly i don't have it here how come well we would have to make do without it i'm pressing m on my keyboard I'm pressing M on my keyboard and new collection and I'm selecting collection. Um, let me see if I can get the screencast keys on. All right, so we have our screencast keys back online. Yes, so I'm pressing M on my keyboard and I'm going to make a new collection. This is after I have not clicked anything. As you can see, my boots is still selected over here in my viewport. And I'm just going to call this boots or something and i'm just going to hit okay all right now all i want to do is just scale and position it in a very nice place also i don't want to destroy the scale so i'm just bringing it up here and i just want something that would blend in the scene and still look realistic enough so it's too big. I think this is okay. And I'm just going to, I'm just rotating this using R. And the next thing I'm going to do is, um, I'm bringing this down a little bit because I feel like it's not really touching the ocean. And done. Okay. Now I'm going to select this part and i'm going to enter edit mode and i'm going to select the seal or the cloth and that i do not want or need in my scene so i'm just deleting that and i'm deleting all the vertices and i'm going to go back to edit mode i also want to delete this part the robots so i'm just going to select that quickly and I'm going to enter edit mode by pressing tab. Now I'm going to enter my X-ray mode and I'm going to choose a select lasso. And I'm just going to select this whole portion and also delete that. Okay. And now we can get ready for our boots. So we are about to burn the boots. So before that, the first thing we want to do is we want to scroll down over here 
and on both we just want to duplicate our collection this is just to prevent any accidents or anything it's not it's not really necessary but i highly recommend you duplicate your collection it's more like duplicating the entire boot and we are just going to turn this one off it doesn't really matter you can leave it on but to prevent confusion i suggest you turn it off okay and once again now i am coming to join the parts of this boot that's for the second model that we have right now so this part you can see it's not connected to the other parts of the ship we want one whole ship so this and this and i'm pressing ctrl g to join them we also have some ropes that are not joined so ctrl and g and now we have one full piece of the ship okay so the first thing we are going to do is i am going to hit object right here and i'm going to select quick effects and i'm coming down to quick smoke and we are already in the process of working out this boat so now i want to um so now i'm going to go into my physics properties and i am going to start off with the mesh so i'm going to select this right here and i'm going to start and i'm going to change the flow type to fire so we are changing this to fire this is going to be fire we are going to leave the flow behavior at inflow we are going to make sure use flow is still checked i'm going to take my time over here so you guys can get the exact same settings i use once again like i said to prevent confusion okay now for the four we are going to change i will increase that to two and then we are going to scroll down now we are going to expand on flow source and we want to change the surface emission to one change the surface emission to one okay and there we go that's all that we are doing for just this part of the body now for the second part we are going to click on the domain or the smoke domain just here and the first thing we want to do before we even change anything is move to scroll down I want to scroll down and change from replay to modular this is going to allow us to bake our animation to prevent our project file from lagging so the first thing we want to do is to bake our animation so first of all we are going to change our resolution to 128 if you are not using a very good computer then i recommend 64 as your resolution but 128 is also good then we wouldn't touch anything again until we come down and my pc is already becoming a little slow we are going to scroll down and under we are going to check adapted domain we are going to change vorticity to 0.1 and then we will change we are going to continue scrolling and we are going to work under fire now under fire we are going to change flame and smoke to 0 0.05 and click enter we are going to change um vorticity to 0.1 again and we're not going to change and that's all that would be working on for now now you could adjust your animation depending on how long it's going to be because of time i'm just going to do a big 100 frames so frame starts from 1 to 100 if you want the um flame burning before you could also make a negative 50 so that by the time the timeline starts 
speaking of timeline let me add a timeline quickly right here so timeline so that by the time the timeline starts at one your boot is already on fire if it starts from one it's now going to ignite okay so um i'm going to change that back to one because i do not want it i want it to start off and ignite or i want the flame to grow larger and now we are going to work on the material of the smoke domain i want to finish all the settings before we render it and look and before we bake so for a smoke domain we are not even going to touch anything here right now we are just quickly going to add an attributes node and in the attributes node you want to spell heat and make sure you don't spell it wrongly if you spell if you if you make a mistake with the spelling it's not going to work and we're going to add a color ramp two color ramps actually and we are going to connect the factor into this color ramp um, just here and we would also be connecting the color into this and for this would we'll choose very bright orange almost red this is actually going to be the color of your fire so you would like to take your time and choose well and this we are going to make this very red because fire does have a little red inside and we're just going to bring this very close in fact i think closer you also want to bring this closer now we are going to add a multiply or a math node and we'll set it to multiply and we're going to set this to multiply and plug the color into the first value and put this on i think two two works very well so put this on two and then you want to plug the multiply value into your emission strength and you want to put the color into the emission color okay i'm going to go ahead and save that and now we want to bake the animation so i'm going to hit big data and i'll just fast forward to the results all right so i just finished baking and this is what we currently have so if i soon my pc is lagging a little bit it's become quite slow but yeah so um if if i enter my rendered view right now just so you guys can see you begin to see that we actually have fire and if I, let me just okay let's wait a little uh, sorry i don't have a very fast computer but yeah um oops. and that's the white screen i also don't have a g i don't have a working gpu oh what what is that <laughs> okay so i think for this i'm just going to work on the materials because it's not supposed to be this red or maybe it's even along the animation okay let me just move deep into frame 35 because now it's done baking let's just see if things get fixed i think it's probably the red hot state or something Um, okay, so I'm just going to work on my material quickly. I think. I made a mistake with the material 
it's actually supposed to be the yellow at the side where the red is and the red at this side so i'm just editing that quickly for you guys to see and i want to switch back into solid view so i'm switching back to solid view and make that's that's so it's so i i hope you guys don't have your computers crashing out there okay so i'm going to just change this to orange Okay, I will blend up, blend up, blend up, just has to crash. Um, I don't know, I can't seem to get my colors well. It's, it's not opening. This is the thing about simulation in Blender or fire simulation it gets it becomes breathtaking. That's why I didn't really want us to make any mistake. I'm sorry, this one is on me guys. Um okay. So let's just let's tweak the colors. Um yeah. I think I just need to zoom in. Oh, I should probably just delete this whole color ramp and do it again. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to delete this color ramp. I'm going to press X to delete it. Okay, and I'm going to re add a color ramp all over again. So I'm pressing Shift A and I'm searching for color ramp. This is just not being nice to me, huh? So shift A. And all we want is a color ramp. Oh, this color ramp is there. Okay, so color. Wow, finally. You know, at this point, if your computer is freezing, just know we are all in this together. Um, so I'm going to choose color ramp. And you know, in fact, before I plug in anything, the very first thing I want to do is just make sure that I have tweaked my values and everything. Okay. This should be a way to simplify everything. And my viewport is just lagging. Um oh I think I should just read the date. No, but I can't bake again. Okay, so I'm first of all going to select red at this side. It's supposed to be red on the left before orange. To increase this, wow, okay. I'm really struggling with my color ramp here, guys. Okay, and I think I just need a little slow. Okay, just bring it up a bit. Okay, and the first part is red, so we're going to select red for this part. So we want a very dark red color. Okay, and for the second part, which I'm currently selecting, hoping it will change. Uh, 
this is going to make this episode very long. Sorry, guys. Um, wow. Um, for this side, we're just going to choose very orange color we have only one shirt because we can't wait for all this again so i'm going to choose just around here the orange just here and come down a little to just here okay i think that's exactly what we need a job And now, this color ramp or this red color has to be very close. So I'm going to change the position to um, 0.92. So I'm just going to dial in 0.92. And I've actually pressed the keys, but I'm still waiting for it to load up on Blender because right now it's really, really, really slow. And I'm going to hit enter. And yep, we should have a burning boat. So I'm just trying, currently trying to save the file. And everything. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, I just want to render this, and I just want to enter my rendered view and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna turn this off and try and get this rendering quickly. So let's see what that looks like and it's white that is because we haven't plugged in our sockets how did i forget okay so we are going to go back to object mode just quickly quickly let's just do this one quickly all right we haven't lucky and we wow blender is really really crashing right now okay so ah, um so we are going to connect the fact into the factor over here sorry i'm not swearing please fac is for factor i'm not swearing and that's exactly where we want to put it and we are taking the color into the emission just here like we did initially and it's not connecting ah. let's just do this still not connecting i think we need to press and hold this for a while just bring it here and then this 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 part takes a lot of patience actually um if you're not patient with blender you're not really going to get the results you're looking for so this part in fact demands a lot of patience you get a lot of white screens and yeah, yeah I, I, i'm uh, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. My PC is just bad. But if you want more content, you can subscribe to my Patreon. I'm trying to get enough to buy a better computer and make more and better amazing tutorials. So we are going to take the color. Ah, I broke the link. Okay. So we are just taking the color into the emission color. So if that's worked for you, just... Hold on for us, we are almost there. 
and there we go okay and i'm going to hit ctrl s on my keyboard to save this immediately saving this immediately and now i'm going to enter my rendered mode just here to see exactly how it looks and hopefully oh i really need a graphics card i really need a graphics card maybe in the video okay and now we got some fire um, unfortunately, because of how my computer is lagging, I have to cut this episode short. But in the next and final episode, we'll be working on how to make this boat realistic. You know, right now we just have the fire, but in real life, or if you live on planet Earth, you know that fire doesn't burn a boat to fully so we are going to burn only portions of it and still make it look like the whole thing is burning maybe we would even add some sparks or some things stuff to float around but that's all going into the next episode so i think the next episode would also be our last episode so please hit that subscribe button like the video share the video i'll see you in the next video